I don't know how I became an academic. Academic life is very much a vocation. It's all consuming in a lot of different ways. I remember learning about philosophy for the first time. We were trying to figure out what I would study at university. So we got the encyclopedia out. There were encyclopedias in those days. And we uh, looked up all the philosophers that my dad knew by name. Um, and I discovered you know, a whole set of really interesting questions that I hadn't really thought about. It infected my thinking. Um, and since then, I think I've just moved from interesting question to interesting question without really thinking about a career and just sort of now found myself 20 years later still doing it. Well, my research focuses on crows and their relationships with people. Crows really offer a, a set of fascinating um, sites for thinking about um, people's relationships with the environment and how those relationships are changing in the context of globalisation, urbanisation, climate change, biodiversity loss. People tend to either love them or hate them. Um, the, the cultural resonances are, are so diverse from Indigenous Australian stories through to the fact that um, there is a group of captive ravens kept in the Tower of London because of a, a prophecy that if the ravens ever left the tower, England would fall. And so to this day there's a raven master who's employed to look after the ravens in, in the Tower of London. A lot of my work is really aimed at, at finding and telling new stories. The core thread that runs through the book I'm writing is um, taking up key terms in um, Western ethics and politics and thinking about how they might need to be redone in some way to come to terms with this era we call the Anthropocene. So that's one of the central goals of my book is to, to develop a kind of ethical lexicon for the Anthropocene um, through these crow case studies. Each of them is, a, is an effort to rethink a different um, key term that I think is really important. Terms like, like community, like inheritance, uh, like hope and hospitality. I'm, yeah, I'm really committed to modes of writing that are not only engaging but accessible. I think, uh, I think there's an obligation um, for us to do philosophy, to do the humanities in ways that can reach out beyond the academy.